Hello guys, KP Shamino here with my part 4 for my leveling guide. So I'm in Oregon, I just fished my net totally full. I'm going to show you guys how much money that you can make here. So what you need to do in Oregon is you need to stay from 15 to 23. Why to 23? Because on that moment you can get like an upgrade for your net. That's uh, the 40 kilogram net. Of course, if you want to go to Florida, you can go to Florida too, because Florida unlocks on level uh, 18. But be sure that you know what you're doing with the license, that you be sure that you know uh, how much it costs before you go there, because otherwise you're going to be broke. If you go to Florida, I will show you guys the best jig that works really well there. With the spinning setup that I just bought for Oregon, you can go to Florida too. But that's for later. So you guys got an option. I'm just going to call it from level 15 to 23 in my uh, in my title of the video. But if you are secure on level 80, you can go. Okay. So because Florida is in my opinion better than Oregon. I just stayed here on the beta a longer time because I like Oregon. I like trout more than bass. But Florida is better uh, currency experience wise than this lake. Okay. So let's get started. I was fishing the whole day here and I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. So first of all, you only need to do one thing and this moment that is that you need to get another spinning setup. Why another spinning setup? Because your starting spinning rod, uh, the value spin I think 160 or 190 is not going to do it here. The fish are bigger. You guys can already see it on my net. So they go to 2 kilograms, 3 kilograms, sometimes a trophy. So you need to get another setup. And that this is the setup that I used on the beta. I like this setup a lot because it looks cool. I think that the feather light looks really cool. And you can throw 55 meters with it with a 7G narrow spoon. So it works really well. Uh, this this uh, setup. So what you need to do is you need to buy the Featherlight 215. I will show you guys later when I go back to the global market, uh, not market, but yeah, the global shop. So the global map, and then you guys know what the price is roughly set. The Prima 2500, the Mono 0.25, and the Narrow Spoon 7G. Narrow Spoon 7G Purple is all what you need here. So you can get a lot of fish with it. I tried with small minnows too and I got a brown trout. But the float setup that we are using uh, yeah, is just okay. It's, it's a fight. So you guys can choose what you do. You can go with small minnows too with the setup of New York. I didn't replace the, the float setup for the simple reason that I want to go economic in my leveling guide. Otherwise, if I say now you need to buy this and you go with the Nero, I think the Nero at level 15, it's going to cost you 20K. You need 20K for the spinning rod, that's 40K. You need 10K to get here, that's 50K. I'm not going to do that. So you need to farm 30 to 35K in New York and then you can get the spinning rod and you're perfectly okay. You guys already can see it's a lot of fish that you catch here, but the good thing is now they are bigger, so it doesn't take a long time. So this took me roughly set two to three hours in game. So that's 30 to 45 minutes. And that's the cooldown that you got on your forward speed too. So the moment that you fill your 25 kilogram net, you can go to the next day and you just keep farming. I got 6,136, but guys, I say it every video, I use premium. So what is premium? Premium gives 50% more experience and 50% more currency. That means if you don't have it, you guys are going to get 4K uh, if you get your net full. So because 50% of 4K is 2K, that's 6K. So you guys on a very good day, 4,100, maybe 4,500 that you can earn each day. So that means that you need, I think, two or three days to get your travel cost back and your feedback and then you make profit but it goes a lot faster than in new york because the fish is bigger so they don't give more because the walleye gives still more currency but the walleye is a lot smaller if you need to catch three walleyes for a trophy rainbow trout here for the same weight this goes a lot faster so you're going to be a lot of days here but that's how it is just enjoy the the, the oregon lake because it's a very beautiful lake Okay, so that's all what I can say. I got the net too, 25 kilograms, but I will show you guys in the shop what you need to buy 
and that's all so now for the fishing you guys can check my oregon brown trout uh, uh guide too that's another video so a couple of good spots that i always use i will do it really quick so you go to trout lair then you go all the way to the left you spawn over there you go all the way to the left and there is a log so you just throw to the log and then you need to do a stop and go with three speed so this is a feather light setup by the way so be sure guys that every trout in the game that you go very slow that's very important because they don't like as a bass or a pike you cannot go really fast on your uh, retrieve with your lure because they are not going to bite that well just go like this stop and go try to get three dots three speed and that's okay and you will get a lot of trout this way so it's a very good lake you can catch a lot of fish here here you can get rainbow trout you get brown trout i got a random cutthroat trout too so that's a very good position i'm not sure that i'm going to get one because i already fished here for 26 kilograms so this spot is uh, diminishing already so uh, i'm just showing you guys how you need to throw so almost on and i just saw that we got jumping fish here too the time that i was here because in a couple of hours it's uh, the best tournament here with the crows and the creatures so there is one jumping so it's a possibility that after this video i'm going to practice a little bit because i like that competition it's very hard it's uh, it's the five biggest smallmouth bass i think or seven if i'm not mistaken but it's hard, you know, it's a very hard competition because you don't catch a lot of fish. So that was position number one. So for position number two, you just go here over the hill. That's where you spawn if you click on trout lair. And uh, you just need to throw from here to the waterfall. Be sure that you are not in the weeds here. Just throw over there. I'm not going to do it. Just retrieve, just do the same. You are going to get rainbow trout here. So I got a couple of trophy rainbow trouts here. I think that you can even still get the unique over there. That was in the past very strange. You need to throw with the lure very far to get the unique. And here you can get it with the bobber. But you cannot get it with the lure. I tried it a couple of times. Just throw to the waterfall. Speed 3. And you are going to catch a lot of fish. And then the last put that I want to show you guys is over here. The mountain watcher. Just go over there. And for the guys that all already went to Oregon, for the old timers, this is the spot that you need to be. Just throw from, yeah, from there to here. Rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, brown trout, you can get them all here. So you can get trophies, you can get everything. So let's have a look that we can get one. And it's so unbelievable, this setup, because you can throw 56 meters with it. So therefore I like it a lot. Because everywhere in this place there is fish, so uh, and you need to make sometimes a distance too. So it's not always that you need to retrow, 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 retrow. No, you just make a distance on the whole way back. You can catch a fish. So I think it's first rainbow trout, then you got brown trout and cutthroat trout under the log here. And the last bit is uh, smallmouth bass. Sometimes you get a smallmouth bass. But you guys can see it, just to stop and go, that's what I do. Okay, but it's not going to happen. But you guys know the three positions, that's where you need to throw. You get your net, and there is Bess jumping. I think that it's Bess that is uh, hunting there. So they are sitting here on the rock too. So that's not bad for the competition. I'm going to check it out a little bit later. So, as always guys, now it's time to go back to the global uh, map. I always want to say global market, but I'm not sure why I want to say that. Oh shit, yeah, of course. I hope that I can log in again, otherwise I need to redo, redo this, uh, this stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to redo it because I just fished for 45 minutes. And then the game says to me, ah, we are back. Okay, okay, we are back. I'm happy because normally I need to restart this stuff. Yeah, and it's not okay. Yeah, I don't like this crap. Yeah, the, the game is bugged. So, I see you guys in like 1,000th of a second. I need to restart the game. Sorry. Yeah, it's Fishing Planet, you know. Stuff like that happens the whole time. So, see you guys right away.
Okay, guys, I'm back. That's the magic of uh, video editing. So you can go, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like in 1,000th of a second back. I needed to restart the game. So let's leave this place. I hope it's going well now. And I probably just needed to, uh, yeah, pay one day more by this crap, I think. I'm not sure, but we will see. So what you need to do. So you guys hit f level 15. Uh, as I said in the My New York Guide. So the first thing that you need to do, of course, is you get the new net. So that's the net on level 15. That's this one. And it's a very big upgrade with the 12 kilogram one. So it's 25 kilograms, three and a half kilograms for a single fish. And this is the next one that we are going to buy. Therefore, I say to you guys, stay here until level 23 because this is not an upgrade, it's only upgrading the single fish weight. This is only 5 kilograms and this is bait coins. You don't have 150 bait coins by now or you need to buy it with real money. So you need to go for this one, the 40 kilogram one. Therefore, I said wait in Oregon until level 23. And it's not going to be a problem because you still need to get the money to get to Florida. And take it from me, experience goes still a lot faster than money in the game. Even with the cut down on traveling cost and all that stuff, they still need to go a lot lower than this to make a good profit and rebalance experience with currency. So let's have a look. What do we you need to buy? So the net is, uh, where was it? It was here. That's uh, six, let's say 7,000 currency for the net. Then we go to the spinning rod. That's 3,500. So that's already 10,500. Then we go to the spin reel. That is, uh, I think, the Prima 2500. So that's 5500. That's 16,000. So 16,000 you need to have to get the equipment. Okay, you need to buy the lure too, the narrow spoon, and you need to buy the new line too. So let's say 16,500. Okay, that's all what you need to buy. So now you got the new spinning setup, so you're ready. So let's have a look what you need to pay to go there. That's 5,000, that's 21,000, but you still need to buy the advanced license too. So Oregon, let's have a look. That's 2,000. So you need to have 27,000. So my 30,000 rule from New York, what I said to you guys, be sure that you get 30,000 from New York. Uh, you're going to need it. But once that you can go to Oregon, you get really quick your money back because the days are 4K that you got sometimes 4.5K. It's going to take some time still, but uh, yeah. I cannot, I cannot change the game. I cannot change the, the currency at the moment. I hope that they tune to town. And with town, I mean 50% at least lower. And then you can make right away good money. So that was it, guys. So be sure that you... Uh, uh, be sure that you buy the new spinning setup. Be sure that you get the new net. Be sure that you get a purple spoon, and that's all what I can say. Then you just need to go to Oregon, stay there until level 23, and then it's time to go to Florida. Florida, Michigan, Alaska. California is not bad at all, but those are the three best lakes at the moment in the game. So now we are working uh, towards Michigan, and that's, I think, 34. So Florida is going to be very good. So I think I'm going to stay there. Alberta is not bad, but you need to have a match set up to go for the Northern Pike. The Northern Pike gives a lot of money. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe I make uh, Alberta optional in the guide and I just go from level 23 to 34 in Florida. But I need to watch it what I'm doing. So that was it for this guide, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, happy fishing in Oregon, a very good lake. You are going to have a lot of fun there. I always have fun in Oregon. You can farm a nice amount of money, a nice amount of experience. Enjoy the lake and I see you guys at level 23 in Florida. Thanks for watching and see you guys the next time. Bye bye.